Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle has been looking into Lila Canyon's safety record. He joins us live in studio this evening. Nate, obviously fire is a big concern in coal mining. That's right, Kelly. And a lot of federal regulations are dedicated to making sure, especially coal mines, don't ignite. We spoke with a professor who studies mining fires. In a coal mine, uh, you have to use intrinsically safe uh, equipment. That means uh, for electrical uh, instrument um, that cannot generate um, sparks. Guan Ji is an associate professor who studies mining, fires, and explosions at Missouri S&T. He said coal mines have a dual risk of igniting the coal and causing an explosion. In a coal mine, there is methane, and methane uh, is one type of one type of a flammable gas. Once the concentration reaches to certain concentration, the fire will cause um, methane explosion. The Mine Safety and Health Administration cited Lila Canyon's operators twice in 2021 and again in May of this year with violating one of those fire prevention protocols. In each of those cases, Emshaw said the operators failed to put an adequate firewall between the coal and an unintended motor or electrical equipment. The penalties were light. Lila Canyon had to pay a total of $568. How do you extinguish a fire in a coal mine? It depends on what, what type uh, of fire is it. He said if the mine is able to monitor methane levels to ensure there's no risk of explosion, firefighters could be sent in to extinguish the blaze. But that assumes the fire isn't burning too hot. If it is, the mine might have to be flooded or operators will have to induce nitrogen. That reduces the ability of the fire to intake oxygen. After a fire at Utah's Wilberg mine killed 27 people in 1984, that mine was sealed for about 18 months to cut off oxygen and snuff the blaze. Here's another historical connection to Utah's current mine fire. This is a rescue mission and we're proceeding as if the men are alive. Lila Canyon is owned by the successor to Murray Energy, which was owned by the late Bob Murray. In 2007, collapses at Murray's Crandall Canyon mine in the same county as Lila Canyon killed nine people. In the studio, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.